The Umbrella Trade Union movement, the GTUC, will soon move to the courts to have a judicial position on the Marriott and other projects that are in breach of the Constitution by denying Guyanese the right to work. The union is hoping that this new move will set a precedent for the future. The union was adamant that Guyana cannot progress if there is no respect for the Constitution and the rule of law. A lot of the um, lawlessness and the recklessness the high incidence of um, do violence, domestic, etc., is as a consequence of the lawlessness of the government. Direct consequence of that. And something has to be done to arrest this situation and to reverse it. Union President Norris Witter said investigation by his union further revealed that a large number of Chinese nationals are here playing their trade, while Guyanese are still struggling for employment. He said the issue has nothing to do with the people of China, but rather the government for not looking out for its people. The Chinese are not to be blamed. You know. It is the government that has to be blamed. Because it is the government that entered into this agreement, right, to, um, to, for the contractor to employ Chinese labor to the exclusion of Guyanese labor. The Chinese would not have been here, they would not have been on the, on the uh, project, they would not have um, pursued the kind of um, employment policy that they are pursuing if the government in the first instance did not agree to that. It has legal, it has economic, and it has cultural and social implications. It affects every Guyanese, every Guyanese. The exclusion of Guyanese in the construction of the Marriott Hotel has sparked widespread criticism in labor, political and other circles. Many believe that the government which negotiates with foreign companies should bargain for the best conditions for its people. Reporting for Capital News, Royce and Drakes.